Hello everybody, my name is Mark. This video I'm going to answer a question that I got. What happens when you sell a covered call and the stock goes up, up, and away past the strike price of the call? How do you make money? Do you make money? The answer is yes, you do make money and I'm going to show you how and why that is in this video. And once again, I'm going to use Tesla as my example. So as of today, the market closed. Tesla closed at $425.30 a share and I'm going to use the $300 call option for November 20th. That's 44 days from now. Let's scroll down to that and let's find out the bid and the ask price. Here you go. The bid is $129.85. The ask is $132.80. So let's say you sell to open this call and the order gets filled at $130. That should make the math nice and easy. So $130. So you buy Tesla at $425.30 and you sell to open that $300 call and you, you fill the order at $130. That's $13,000. Now, the shares are going to get called away. So what happens here? Well, I got it all in the calculator. So you bought Tesla at $425.30. That's $42,530. And because you sold a $300 call, you are obligated to sell uh, your 100 shares at $300 a share, you are going to lose $12,530, okay? But remember, we sold to open that $300 call option at uh, $13,000, $130, right? Bid $129.85, ask $132.80, order gets filled at $130, that's $13,000. So you lose $12,530, but you make thirteen thousand dollars so your profit is 470 so if the shares get called away that is a happy day for you you make money now what happens if tesla goes up to 430 or 435 or 500 dollars a share or pick your price a million dollars a share do you still make money the answer is yes why because if tesla goes up to let's say 430 dollars a share you already bought 100 shares you already own the stock you don't have to buy Tesla at $430 a share. Your dollar cost average is $425.30. That does not change. You already own the share. So it doesn't matter how high Tesla goes. You bought Tesla at $425.30. You are going to sell Tesla at $300 a share. So you take the same loss and the $130, the $13,000 that you brought in for the call option, that also does not change. You don't have to buy to close the call option when it gets exercised. When the option gets exercised, the call is simply taken away from you. You keep the $13,000, you lose the $12,530, Tesla goes to $600 a share, your dollar cost does not change. You still bought it for $425.30, you're still selling Tesla at $300 a share, you still say, take the same loss, $12,530, but you still keep the same $13,000. And I'll give you an example on a different stock that I actually I sold a put on. It's a penny stock. Uh, I like to sell puts on penny stocks because sometimes the premium is very high. And uh, actually, let me go to my transactions. It's CRBP. And uh, let me go back a month here. That's about when I sold the put. And this did get assigned to me. And so here it is right here. Removal of option due to assignment. Notice how it says 000. I didn't have to buy back the put option. And it's the same thing with the covered call. When the covered call gets exercised, you do not have to buy to close the covered call. The assignment gets removed. The call option gets removed. Option due to assignment. Get this little message. You no longer have the option. I was obligated to buy CRBP at $4 a share because that was the strike price that I sold, $4. CRBP was a biotech stock, it tanked, and so now the stock is only worth like $1.20 a share, so I'm in the red, not because I had to buy to close the, the put option, but because it is way below my dollar cost average. That's in the case of a put. Same thing with a covered call. When a covered call gets exercised, your option gets removed. You're not buying to close the call option. You already own the 100 shares. So if that happens, you're going to make the same money regardless if Tesla stays flat at 425.30 or it goes up to $600 a share. Your dollar cost does not change. 
uh, you lose the same $12,530. You brought in $13,000, so you're going to make the same $470 profit. Of course, in that situation, you're going to wish like heck that you were not obligated to sell Tesla at $300 a share, and you could sell Tesla at $700 a share, but you chose to sell a cover call. You're still going to make some money. That's okay. Uh, but that's that's the trade-off when you sell a call option on a stock you own Keep in mind you are obligated to sell the stock at that strike price But that does not change when the stock goes up when you sell a cover call on any stock If the stock goes up past the strike price you are always going to make money You can never lose money when a call option gets exercised on a stock that you own So hopefully I've done a fair job of answering the question What happens when you sell a cover call and the stock goes up up? And away way past the strike price of the call the answer is you're gonna make money no matter what so any more questions feel free to leave in the comments uh, thank you for asking I will see you in the next video and have a good day ciao